I'm Josh Deckert, and you're watching episode four of Platts Tonight 2.07. I will hold for a short applause from you guys. Oh, guys, please, guys, thank you. We have a good show for you tonight. Not great, but decent. But before we get to that, I do have some sponsors to read. What a surprise, I am sure. Guys, Helldrax is out. Infinity Pig is in. Infinity Pig wasn't supposed to be a sponsor, but since the graphic got leaked last episode due to Jeremy's mistakes. All mistake. Jeremy, if you want to come over here. Is there something in here? Ah, 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 ah. I figured, why not? Let's throw it in there. Infinity Pig is the future of pork, a company that removes only the bacon part of a swine without killing it. Due to future advancements of medical technology and cookware, it will soon be possible to remove only the bacon over and over again until the pig dies peacefully of old age. Bacon is cheaper, the pigs die painlessly, and the American consumer is satisfied. Infinity Pig is looking for investors, so if you're interested, call 749-555-0145. And Infinity Pig does not abide by the codes of the Animal Protection Agency. We have Jess to Fury here tonight. Jess, I know you are thrilled uh, to be here, um, but if you want to say anything, uh, I'd be glad to edit your response out. I was just gonna. Honestly though, how, how are you feeling? I'm okay, thank you. You are feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you were a little hesitant to come on the show tonight, mm -hmm. but I, I really wanted to have you genuinely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just want to make sure we're... We're, we're fine. We're no, cool. we're fine. We're chilling. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad at you or anything at all. I'm not holding <laughs> resentment or anything like that. Well, that's good to hear. That's totally reassuring. A reassuring sentiment. You know, this is episode four. Uh, Jess, you've been with us since episode one. Yes. And, you know, we're four episodes in, mm -hmm. and the other three episodes have been out for a while, and we've been wondering, like, who is actually watching the show. So we took a camera out around the campus to see who's watching, why they're watching, what are they watching if they're not watching Platts Tonight 2.07. So yeah, we just wanted to find out and see what's going on around the campus and what, what their favorite part of uh, the season has been. So after the break, uh, take a look. Warp Radio runs on Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel uh, 10 here on campus. It gives Plattsburgh students an opportunity to be a radio DJ and see if that's something they have interest in for a future career path. You're listening to WARP, Charter Channel 194, Campus Channel 10, Plattsburgh, New York. We're back in the ACC, um, going around to see who exactly is watching the show, which I feel like is probably not that many people. We do have Jess here uh, to make people feel more comfortable, but also to pass out flyers. So Jess, do you want to say anything about the flyers? I can pass them out. Yeah, she can pass them out, hopefully. I mean, it's her one job, so. Have you been telling like your family to uh, like watch the show and everything and your friends? I told my residents. What'd they say? I don't know if they watched it. We're four episodes in. This is episode four. What was your favorite part of the season? So I've watched a couple of episodes. I would say, I don't remember what, what was with the people drinking the milk? Well, I think six or seven drank it. I, I didn't want them to. It was a joke. They actually did it, like seriously. But what was wrong with the milk? No, nothing. It was fine. I bought it the day before. But they all drank from the same milk. The That's correct. Was it clean? No, probably not. I don't know. We're not a team. Yes, you are. <laughs> Jess is just the help. You What's, uh, what was your favorite part of season two of Platts Tonight 2.07? I've never watched it. We got some really fun educational segments like Baby of the Week. Uh, our sponsors, they do mean a lot to us. Uh, please call Infinity Pig if you're interested in investing. Pig regeneration, it is the future of pork. All right, I'll check it out. Perfect. Awesome, thank you. We'll take the flyer back now. Now, what do you think of my new cardigan? I got this yesterday. What do we think? Pretty good, right? It's giving you have a little sensitive side to you. And Jess, shut up! So, Elias, what has been your favorite part? Wow, Jess, that's so mature. That's so mature. What has been your favorite part of uh, season two of Platts Tonight? Uh, it's funny. It's absolutely amazing. Great, great everything, you know? Have you actually been watching? Um, no. So we have a lot of like different fun segments, some educational. We have like Baby of the Week, that was Matt Damon's nephew. He was on the episode last, uh, uh, two episodes ago. 
You got any plans for uh, Thanksgiving? Um, watching football, doing absolutely nothing. What's, what's your team? Um, Giants. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> uh, Jess, you're, you're really cool. We look up to you. Uh, this show would not have happened without you. What has been your favorite moments of season two of Platts 92.07? Have you even been watching the show? Of course I have. Yes. I have not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tired of Jess's insufferable uh, complaining. How does that make you feel? Not good. Do you guys want to say anything to Jess? Jess, we love you. Yes. And you're an amazing helper here. Jess, we tolerate you. Do you guys mind if I say something to my family real quick? Yeah. All right, um, James Jackson and Cecilia, you guys watch the show live when it comes out on Wednesday nights, and I really appreciate that. Oh, hello, James Jackson and Cecilia. Yeah, but James Jackson, we love you. We love James Jackson. Cecilia too. Yeah. No, dude, no, no, just James Jackson. I I've been doing a show, I'm sure you know, called Platts Tonight 2.07. Uh, this is uh, season two. Uh, have you been watching? No, actually, honestly, no. Jesus Christ. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Got plans? Eating. Eating what? Everything. You name it. The table? The chairs? A little bit of the table. Part of the house? <laughs> Yo, get away from me, dog. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say to your family? Or your friends watching? Um, tune in to Plattsburgh TV. What's been your favorite part of season two? Have you been watching? No. Ah. Oh. What has been your favorite part of season two? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I mean, you're a, you're a series regular now. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I, I, I guess I'd be biased to say, well, my part's the favorite. I, I like the intros. I, you know, honestly, when you guys do the um, the 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 false uh, charity advertisement stuff, that always got me. yeah, that always got me pretty good. Do you have anything you want to say, maybe to uh, to the viewers watching? This is episode four, so we got episode four and then five, and then we're almost done. No, uh, nothing much to say. Just. Keep watching. Uh, I'm having fun being a part of it, so hopefully people are enjoying at least my little segment. And we got, we're both wearing cardigans, which is pretty sick. I, I look like a film bro. I have glasses too when I wear those. I look like I know a lot about, about film. Smart, uh, smart, hipster style kind of man. And... Ask me about the effects that Citizen Kane had in the Academy of Motion Pictures. What has been your favorite part of season two so far? Um. The fact that it's supposedly free and on YouTube? I would love to invest in recyclable bacon. Yeah, um, well it's more so of recycling the pig, um, not so much the bacon. What do you guys think of my new cardigan? Oh, I got I this yesterday. It. You great. like it? Yeah? Warm. Looks warm? Yeah? Toasty. Um, do you guys want to... Pockets that I saw? Yeah, pockets for like little rings and coins and stuff like that. Um, do you guys have anything you want to say to like your family or your friends? Love you, Mom. I love you too, Emmy's mom. All right, Benny, you know, we're, we're going around, we're seeing what people think of my show, Platts Tonight 2.07. Uh, what has been your favorite part of season two? My favorite part of season two is the fact that there is actually a season two and the fact that, you know, I remember how hard you put in last semester in terms of the show and really wanting to replicate, you know, uh, Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel and all those late night comedians and that you're keeping that momentum going. It's so exciting, honestly. It's a great way for, you know, PSTV students to represent themselves and all that. Yeah, that was a really good way of saying I have not been watching season two. Pretty much. of After Hours here on PSTV. And welcome to another installment of Talk Nerdy to Me. You look excited. Yeah. I'm freezing. I'm Lauren Weiss. And I'm Kyle Bryant. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Two minutes of the finest in news that you need to know about. And now it's time for a PSTV News special report. Gorman yeah! With two seconds left! Welcome back to Platts Tonight 2.07. We have Jess Tafuri here tonight, who practically begged uh, me to have her on the show. She was like, I'm sick of being the help, I, I want to be a real guest on the show, and I was like, you know what, fine. So give it up for Jess Tafuri. Thank you guys. You actually begged me to be here though, and in every other episode helping you, like walking around doing those interviews. Yeah, but no, 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 no it's yeah. fine, you can cut that out. <laughs> yes, you begged me to be here. I did really want you to be on the show because honestly, Jess, I felt bad that, you know, I, 
I think me and Jack, mostly me though. We, it's we, Jack too. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't even realize until today that it was also Jack. Okay. But we yeah. don't have to. Jack's not in here in the room right now, so we don't have to talk about it. I'll wait till we see him. We have been rude to you. Um, you know, I, we did that whole thing where I just kind of referred to you as the help um, or the coat rack, as we both once said. And even the people in the nursing class that we went to for last episode, uh, some of them were like, wow, like that guy was really sexist towards that, that Jess, and that yeah. was just really rude. Yeah. Um, I'm in a support group these days, actually. But even though we were messing around, uh, I did feel a little bad, and I wanted to apologize um, for all the times I've been rude to you, which oh. I, I was told that you had a list of complaints oh. that you brought along? Yeah. Well, I was only going to bring this out because um, I heard you were going to apologize to me. And at first I was okay. really excited that you were going to apologize. I said, wow, so like our friendship does mean something. That's really crazy. Like I know they're all jokes, but I'm really glad he's coming to me with this and apologizing like really genuinely. Um, but I did write this list in case it like in case you were making another joke. Um, but I guess I'll read this first just so we're even. Okay, I'm gonna start with an easy one. Uh, a lot of guys will be, you know, you do this a lot. Uh, when my friend from New York came to visit, New York City came to visit, um, and you were literally at my house hanging out with us for hours, and then at the end of the night, you just said, hey, where's Jess's hot friend? <laughs> he said, you're a news director, that's shocking. Leave it to Joe Mason, a real man. Um, when I Wait, told I, him, said, I said the Joe Mason thing? Yeah. When did I say that? It's crazy that you don't even remember the hurtful times you've hurt me. We were hanging out, and we were walking downtown, and I don't know if you guys have ever been on Court Street, but at some point, like maybe right across from Teak, there's a piece of the sidewalk grass that like goes up just about my height, five feet, and he looked at it and he said, I really wish I could kick you into the sidewalk. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, <laughs> We were speaking with a young woman, a young girl, and Josh literally looked me dead in my eye and said, know your place, when I tried to make conversation with her. <laughs> it's caught on tape, you can't deny it. Jess, know your place, please. Uh, I only wanted you to buy Spider-Man 2 so I could borrow your copy. Yeah, but the fact that I didn't need to play one before two yeah. said it was because I'm a girl and I wouldn't even get it if I tried. <laughs> okay, that did not happen, I, that did not happen. Who are you going to believe? Who are you going to believe? You know, I got to say, although I think some of those are taken like wildly out of context. <laughs> do you? <laughs> um, I, I do feel bad. I honestly do feel bad. Yeah. Um, me and Jack That's have why, talked. right, right, right. I want you to apologize for real. And no, and I, I am sorry. And I actually got you a card because I wanted you to be on the show tonight so I could make an apology. But obviously, mm -hmm. um, we needed three cameras uh, to do it. But I did get you a card. That's very sweet of you, um, Josh. So, Jess, I am sorry. Is that the envelope for it, or is that... No, this is the card. Oh. So, if you just want to... That's for you. Yeah. This is it? Yeah, that's the card. This is the... Can... I don't even think you could zoom in if you wanted to. This is the apology. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem, Josh? I, I've put in so much hard work. I, like, this is the smallest, like, there's not even a design on it. You couldn't even write it out handwritten. You had to type it and print it. And you don't even spell my name right. It's Jess. There's four letters. You missed one. Two what S's. Did I put? What did I put? You put J-E-S. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, oh, it. yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, Do you yeah. have an excuse for this <laughs> behavior, Josh? Because, honestly, I'm going to go to Chambers right now. <laughs> no. This is ridiculous. Like, this was a joke, but this <clears> is just, like, I don't even want to rip it up. It's not even worth it. I don't want this. This is this is actually ridiculous. Get this mic off me. I don't even want to. F you're, this is a, you're a piece of. Sh I hate this. You Jess. too, and you too. F you all. I'm out of here. F this <laughs> show. Jess, wait, please come back. Jess, uh, I know I joke around with you a lot, and I know Jack jokes around with you a lot. But honestly, um, not even a bit. Like from the bottom of my heart. Uh, for real? For, no, for real, for real this time. I I am sorry if we ever pushed a line, and we went too far and like you maybe felt uncomfortable about saying anything. Um, so I, I am honestly, truly sorry for that. If, if that did happen, if, if, oh. <laughs> which. See, you almost had it there, Josh. <laughs> no. You almost had me there. You almost had me, yeah, continue the show. Thank you so much, Josh. Oh, let me hold your coat, oh. <laughs>
I do appreciate everything you do for the show. Thank you. And I'm, I'm so glad that you're here on the show Thank tonight. You. And I'm, I'm looking forward to having you on future episodes, or the, the last episode, episode five. You're going to let me finale. into that boys club that is the season finale? You will be in the season finale. Uh. If, if you want to be, I hope you will be. Hmm. Um, but you're a great friend. Oh you go out gosh. of your way to help us, and I really appreciate it. And I know we joke around a lot, but I do really appreciate and care about everything that you've done for the show. And it really does mean a lot to me. Wow. So thank you for that. Thank you wow. for everything. Why don't you guys give Jess a round of applause? Yes. It's people like you, as in women appearing on the show, that make Platts Tonight 2.07 feminism. So I want to thank you for that. Am I doing more harm than good here? Do you have anything else you want to say to the viewers watching? And I promise it will not be cut out. You promise? I promise. If you want you to say anything. You promise it won't be cut out? Pin Pinky promise. You pro it won't be cut out. Hey. It will not be hey. cut out if you want to say anything. Um, I would love to say that... Um, <laughs> I don't have anything to say at all. You can end your show here. I don't have anything. All right, thank you for those words. Yeah. Do you mind thank if you. I say something before we go? Uh, no. No? No, I guess not. Go okay. Ahead. Um, Madison, uh, that's, that's my sister, by the way. Um, I got you a Buffalo Bills mug for Christmas last year, and when you moved to Nashville, you forgot it, and you didn't take it with you, so I stole it. And here it is. Uh, I've been keeping it. I've been hanging on to it. I've been using it. But if you do want it back, we can probably arrange something. I'll see you at Thanksgiving. So if you want, want it back, I mean, it is your, it was your Christmas gift. So, I mean, I could always just give it to you for Christmas next year. I doubt you would even know. Guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. We have a good show for you tonight. It's not great, uh, but it is decent. Uh, before we get to that, though, I do have I don't some... like this. See, I don't like that <laughs> comment. I don't like <laughs> no. that comment. Why do you keep doing that? Take three. You're still saying that same joke. You're not saying any jokes from take one, but you really like that one from take two. So you're what saying you, that again. What, what are you talking about? Move on. Move on. Go ahead. Move on. We do have some sponsors to read. What a surprise for sure. Guys, Josh has more about Hail Drax. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, that got me mad because the first time I wanted to interrupt you the first time and I didn't and I didn't and I was like, you know what, I'm going to let him continue with his show because he has some on the teleprompter and I don't want to ruin the flow of it. But seriously, to say that twice is crazy. Go ahead, cut it out. <laughs> wait, are you? Wait, what are you mad huh? about? The thing that huh? you? Just... <laughs> what? <laughs> Infinity Pig is in. What? Are, wait, what are you? Infinity are you mad about? Infinity Pig is in. <laughs> No, we'll, we'll start from the top, uh, same, same, same take, but we'll start from the top. It's just not right. Guys, I'm not, I wasn't even joking, like I wanted you to restart. <laughs> Don't say that again.